With a dishwasher, you'll not only want to turn off the power supply to the appliance, but also the water supply. Usually this valve will be close by like this one inside the sink cabinet. While you're under there, you can disconnect the water supply line and the drain line. The drain line usually ties into the sink drain above the P-trap. Let these two hoses drain into a pan or bucket while you continue working. To disconnect the power, you'll probably have to remove the dishwasher's bottom panel to get to the electrical connections under the unit. Disconnect all three leads and pull the wire out of the dishwasher's electrical box. Now you're ready to take out the screws that connect the washer to the cabinet and pull the whole thing out. Instead of putting the new washer in exactly as the old one came out, Greg is fishing the wire back into the adjacent cabinet where he'll mount a box and wire in an outlet. In some areas, this is a new code requirement that all appliances have cords with plugs. This simplifies matters with the new washer because you can make all three connections, water, drain, and power, before you slide the appliance into the cabinet. Greg's adding a reducing adapter to the water supply inlet so that it will match up with the water supply line we have. He also connects the power cord while the dishwasher is on its side. The new model has a drain line already connected from the factory so the washer is ready to go in. You simply fish the three lines, water drain and power, through the cabinet wall and push the dishwasher into place. Raise or lower the unit as necessary with the adjustable feet and attach it securely to the cabinetry. Under the sink cabinet, the power cord is plugged in, the drain is connected, and the water supply is hooked up and turned on. Well, it looks like Greg did a great job on the installation of the dishwasher. It took him a couple hours, and as you can see, it really wasn't that involved of a process, but he probably saved a couple hundred dollars over what a plumber would have charged these homeowners. 